her name is Sarah, and she has her PhD in law in Nigeria. Even though currently she is in Canada, she is a doctor of law. Sarah, am I correct with my introduction? Very well. Very well. So not only does she understand the law, she understands the law to a high extent. So, Thank you. Sarah, did you watch the video of what Akwi, a.k.a. Um, Speed Darling, Darling did you watch what he said about PDD? Please, kindly, let's uh, camouflage our words because of social media. Make them not come begin to stress me. So, in your opinion as a mm -hmm. lawyer, in your learned opinion as a lawyer, do you consider that statement defamatory and if it is defamatory why thank you very much sir uh upon watching the video i would say wholeheartedly that i consider it defamatory and i'll give my reasons why first of all what is a defamatory statement so let's understand what it means to say something that is defamatory and what makes a statement defamatory in the eyes of the law so first of all defamation in law is an act of communicating false statements about a person that results into the damage of the person's reputation or injures the person's reputation mm. you should take note of that you are communicating a false statement to a third party or the public and that statement has succeeded in injuring or damaging the person's reputation. This is what defamation amounts to in the eyes of the law. Now, this, this statement, before we go deep into what Speed Darlington said, let's look into other aspects of the law. So you should have estimated, the law should have estimated that this statement has created an impression um, to the public are you about or you a person. An hour or do you, are you ready for me now? Has created a false impression. Has lowered the person's has lowered the person's reputation before the eyes of the public. So you have the statement has succeeded in creating a lowered reputation of the person in the eyes of the law. Now, I, I saw that we're talking about whether it is civil or criminal. Like I said, from the whole video I had watched, I can establish that there is a defamatory statement. And what do I need to prove to establish defamation? One, that there was a statement made that demeaning the reputation of a person which upon watching i can see that that statement creates an impression that demeaning or diminishes the reputation of boner boy now is it a case that should be handled civil or criminal it can be i want to make it clear that it can be criminal and it can be civil a lot of people are more used to the civil defamatory case but we have both civil and criminal and the case can run concurrently so let's go to the aspect of the criminal one which i feel is what we would want to know more about so for the civil aspects a person can be charged for defamation under the criminal code by virtue of section 375 of the criminal code depending on the location the person is so when you are charged under the criminal code what is the implication of that if you if all the factors that need to be proved all the evidence that needs to be shown to establish a defamatory statement has been established and you have been you have been found guilty you'll be convicted for a misdemeanor of one year imprisonment that would be your sentence if it's in the penal code too if you have been convicted you will also be sentenced i want to bring to our attention and i think i want daddy Chris to also hear this that there is also a law that came out that is the this law came out the same time with the administration of criminal justice act in 2015 
that is the Cyber Crime Prohibition Prevention Act. The Cyber Crime Prohibition Prevention Act of 2015. So a person can also, aside being charged under the criminal code or the penal code, a person can be charged under the Cyber Crime Prohibition Prevention Act of 2015 mm. or the Cyber Crime Prohibition Law of any state that has adopted that act. Maybe the Cyber Crime Prohibition Law of Lagos State. So when you're charged under this once, okay. once you're charged under this act and you what does the act says any person who knowingly sends a message or other matters by means of computer system why am i coming to to this law of the cyber crime prohibition prevention act because it's encapsulates the situation where um uh, Spridality finds himself because it's an online statement, statement that was made by the on the cyber space. So any person that knowingly sends a message or a matter by means of computer system, or that he knows to be false for the purpose of causing annoyance, inconvenience, danger, as the case may be, hatred, affecting the Pers the person that is being spoken about the reputation is liable for a fine of seven million naira, or a prison or a term of imprisonment more than three years or both. Sorry, a term of imprisonment not, not more, than more than three years three or years. both. Not more than oh, three wow. years or both. So it's oh, seven wow. million or a term not more than three years or both. Now take note. I've mentioned three laws now: criminal code, penal code. And the cyber crime act it is the discretion of the prosecution to choose whichever law they want to charge you on why am i mentioning this because this has more weight than the criminal code the criminal code is just one year sentence but with this you can be sentenced to up to three years or three years and seven million not me <laughs> God will not let me Sorry, <laughs> whoever, <joking>. is, <laughs> whoever is being charged. So having laid the foundation now that once you can prove defamation, how do you then prove defamation? The words mm. were defamatory. What makes a word defamatory? When you have dented, injured the reputation of a person and bring the person to a lower level in the eyes of the public, how do we see Bonaboy? What was, if I want to refer, I wrote some things when I watched the video you sent to me about the statement and utterances of, uh, of Speed Darlington. And I heard him clearly say, after you snap with PDD, you blow. Bonaboy. <laughs> How many oil then put for your body? Mm -hmm. You are oh, you, you know, he now said, I'm asking a question. You are asking a question that translates an impression of somebody. Mm -hmm. It's giving an impression. An what impression. impression? What can be what can somebody deduce from this question? Mm -hmm. And you are talking to mm -hmm. the general public where we have people with a lot of people just take things on the surface level. You are saying this on social media. Look at the platform where you're putting it. A lot of people look at things on the surface level. Oh, how many oil they put for your body? Then he now compared to hmm. himself. He said, I collect mine on merits. I collect ah, mine. Ah, he mentioned ah, a magazine. <laughs> he mentioned a magazine. And I think, I think he had received an award uh, a magazine gave him an award. I say he collected his own merit. So, what insinuation are you giving that the other person might have not collected his own merit? And you are also holding oil while speaking and all those things. So, he mentioned Bonaboy and Faust, although it's Bonaboy we are talking about now. Now, another issue I think I should touch on quickly because there are a lot of factors here. People are asking about. Uh, why was he arrested and why is he in custody, you know, since 
his mm. defamation and whether he should access to his lawyers and all that. Now, the intricacies of what is taking place upon his arrest, we can all know and say what is happening, but let us know what the law says. Once you have been arrested for any mm. crime or offense, you should be charged within 24, within 24 hours, you should be charged to court. Now, if there is no court around the jurisdiction or the space where you have been arrested, you can be charged within 48 hours. Now, take note that, that the police can also get a warrant from the court to detain you for 14 days. A warrant once they have now. People so they can him. detain him legally for 14 days, as far as they have gotten that warrant from, which they can also get from a magistrate court. They don't need to sweat it. So if the, we are questioning sorry. why he's Wait, Sorry, being... sorry, 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 Sarah, sorry. On our way, they cruise people for social media. She will not be here. Mm, within, for 14 days, they can keep you, as far as they have the warrant. And it's at the discretion of the court. So they will go present it before the court, set it like in a form of a motion, requesting for a, a warrant to detain you. Once you have, once the warrant has been approved, you can be detained for 14 days. So we're, we, we can just be talking online, not knowing that the police have done what is required of them to put Pedalington in custody pending his appearance in courts. So uh, I just want to enlighten us in, on that area. And if the courts find that there is sufficient reason why we should, they should grant that warrant, they would grant the warrant and he would be held in custody. So I think that clears that out. And with respect to, I cannot categorically say what law he will be charged under. But with respect to the law or the act, as the case may be, the Cyber Crime Prohibition Prevention Act or law, wherever it doesn't matter where the defendant or whoever made that publication was when he made the publication, because we are talking of the space now. There's no, there's no location. The cyber is everywhere. It's the world, you know. But what makes it justifiable for you to um, prosecute somebody under that law is that the plaintiff or whoever had access to that um, publication or video viewed it within the jurisdiction where you're being prosecuted. That means he viewed it within Nigeria. Nigeria. Oh, so even if you like, you go and do it in Somalia or in the jungle or in space, as long as he matter. was viewed in Nigeria and there is proof that he was viewed in Nigeria, you are liable. Exactly. Oh. You can be prosecuted okay. in Guys, Nigeria. are we learning something today? So, so um, I want us to, um, to understand that uh, defamation is not only civil, please. It can be civil, it can be criminal. And even when it's criminal, there are multiple laws or options where you can be charged on, which you can be charged on that. It's at the discretion of the prosecution to choose which law they want to charge you on that or which act. And it goes from there. It's still a fresh case as far as I'm concerned. They've conducted their investigation and that's why they could pick him up or they have sufficient reason, a uh, prima facie case against him. That's why he has been picked up and other things are going on. He would definitely be arraigned in no time from what is within my knowledge now. So I don't know if we have any other question, if anybody wants to join us, but from what I can see, there is a prima facie case because that video, you, I don't need any other person to tell me once I watch the video, I'll start questioning the reputation of Bonaboy as an ordinary, ordinary person. I'll start questioning his reputation and his integrity, his personality. So he won't look as high as he is being viewed in the eyes of the public anymore. So it's, it's sufficient for anybody to pick it up. Mm. Okay. Yeah.
Now, I want to ask you a question, um, my dear Dr. Sarah. What is the difference between defamation, slander, and libel? Okay. Okay. So when he, uh, well, they are all different forms of um, defamatory statements, meaning how it's being presented. Um, okay. Yeah. Of course, slander or libel ought to have touched on the reputation of the person. So it just depends on how it is being presented. So libel is actually, and normally it's known as an oral statement, a statement, hmm. uh, like they say, a libelous statement, something that has been said orally that dents the image of a person. Sorry. Mm. <clears throat> that also dents the... It's a, it's a statement that is defamatory, but the manner in which it is presented, it was orally presented. While, when, while if it is um, slander, it's still... A, they are both defamatory statements. It's just the form in which they come. Yes, I'll use that word the form in which they come. When it's libelous, it comes in a form of um, a written statement. Why slander? It's more or less an oral statement. Mm, 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 mm. So according yeah. to your take, uh, this thing that Speedy did would be considered... Slander. Because it's slander. orally it's, yeah. It's orally stated and there is video evidence the, the only thing that makes makes it peculiar is that it was made in the cyberspace so that was why i brought out the cyber or that act, act. Mm. it was made mm. within the spy, cyberspace so that's what makes it a bit peculiar so the in other words we need to be very cautious of things we put online and things we say online because uh now let me i ask don't want to die a question legally a lot of people are saying that Speedy was arrested and oppressed by Berner. As a lawyer, he was taken away for three days. Apparently, they claim he had no access to phone. Is that legal or an illegal arrest? Okay. Now, what people are saying, they are just, they are, uh, I would say they are still just um, assumptions mm. from the public. They are assuming because they did not hear from him for the past three days. Uh, two, three days. So there is an assumption that he was just arrested. You do not know the preliminary work or procedural activities that the prosecution or the police have done before they arrested him. So um, he probably, would, they, they definitely or probably would have done what they need to do, that, like I already mentioned, getting the warrant of court before they arrest him. And after arresting him, the next question is whether he had access to his, um, to a legal counsel or to his lawyer, as the case may be. But uh, I can't categorically say, talk about that, whether he did, but he's entitled to access to his lawyer so that he would know what next to do. So um, we are still all speculating. Most of the statements going online with respect to circumstances surrounding his arrest, to me, are mere speculations. Mm. I think there was a post about a lawyer saying he saw speed. He later saw speed Darlington and all that. But as the time he saw him and the time he had, how soon he had access to his lawyers. These are detailed information that I think only the police would know. But I want to ask you, and if for any reason there's been an illegal arrest, uh. If Dalinti has his rights within the law, whenever his lawyer comes in, you know, once his lawyer comes in, he has the right within the law to question that arrest legally. So we cannot categorically, 
categorically, uh, you know, build on that assumption until we are sure, or we happen to hear from the representative of the police. Mm. 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 Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, any other lawyer, any other comment, any questions? Now, I want you to send me requests if you want to ask questions. If you want to ask mm -hmm. questions on YouTube, super chats, super stickers, and super likes. A thousand stars and above will get you questions on Facebook. Questions are free on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> TikTok, pop my money guns yeah. if you want to ask questions. Uh, so Somebody said in the USA, uh, defamation mm. is usually civil, not criminal. That's the USA. Mm -hmm. Good. But Nigeria so, is different. It's both Nigeria civil is and different. criminal. I, you know, I said that at the beginning. So I don't know if you listened to my analysis. That means I tried in my analysis. Yes, you <laughs> did. <laughs> but like, I'm not a lawyer, so I always leave the expert opinion to the experts all right here's a gentleman go ahead chris bassi i want to bring you back yeah that is chris, uh, thank you very much for bringing me yes, go ahead. and uh, uh from here uh good evening uh madam good evening. yeah please uh you you are very correct in most of the things you said but where i had a problem which i was like it from the comment section i was reading too is like i wanted to ask you the first question like are you in, are you practicing the law or you you are into another field of course i'm practicing law i've been practicing law for over over 12 years now okay because yeah. you know why i asked the, why i asked you the question was like i am not trying to um project that you you are not practicing what you studied but if it happens that i, I come to your chamber i bring a complaint and the, it comes that maybe you are looking from your system and talking to me like most of your what you do you focus on the system while talking to me i, I will feel like maybe probably you okay let me respond to that yes if you come to my chamber which i'm currently not in my chamber now i'm actually working from home i'm not even within the jurisdiction now i'm not in nigeria as to speak um um that the freeze called for my opinion quickly online and i was able to wrap up what i was working online while i'm talking to you and i'm also working i'm responding to other things so as i'm responding to you i'm working it is absolutely totally different case when you come and consult me in my office i would have scheduled you for a meeting and there is no way i would be on my system when i'm talking to you so these are two different situations i was speaking to you and if you if you if you get that if when you called me i actually told you i want to try and clear what is within mm. me before i come yes, online yes, yes, i yes. tried my best but i need Sorry, to hold on online to one second mr easy mr aziz official said she's a burner boy uh, uh fan. fan now why is she the yarn rubbish you see when you don't understand the law you inside her and you who this you sound like you know complete makarata let alone primary school how you dance like this cheleke uloti ka secondary school ni odol go a phd a doctor of law is giving you let me tell you you cannot even if she says something wrong you cannot sue her unless you are her superior in law she spent <laughs> this time go Going to learn about the law while you were having a soapy, <laughs> and you didn't know you can have an opinion, but how dare you challenge a learned person who has a doctorate in law when this girl was doing her PhD? Where were you doing? Playing with Mama Jens or Ogo? This law, law. Law and medicine are two courses where we say we both people they even fear to study. Yes, now <laughs> because the loan, the loan, the loan, loan where they go take go school, go study these two things. The years they will spend in school, they wouldn't. That's why in the whole world, the best lawyers and medical practitioners are always Asians and Africans. Take it anywhere. Ah, 
person go to it. My mother is a uh, professor of law. Baba, mm -hmm. if you enter my mother library, if winter come, the books where they there, if you begin burn them, you go get fire for five years. If you enter my mother's library, so I, I know I live with a, a pro, you know what to be what it is to me to be a professor of law. Most of the sons where they see there, they were my mother's students. So. So a lawyer is giving a you are not a lawyer, oh. you are not a son, oh. you are not, you don't have your PhD in law, you are not a judge, oh. you are telling a lawyer that her opinion is dumb and because she's a burner boy fan. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, can I ask you a question? So, I may be wrong. You can't... I may Sorry. be wrong, but yeah. I think I'm right. If you are in Nigeria now. By now, if you say you want to continue with this, you should be a magistrate by now, if I'm wrong. Not yes, now. Now, now sorry, somebody That's else, mean. another lawyer so, wants to... No, I'm just giving an example. Judge. Chris, From a high court judge. No, you see, um, this is our brother. Now, Please ask your question, because I want to bring another yeah, lawyer. Yeah, the, la the last question is like, um, <laughs> before they arrest him, is it not proper for them to send a notification or to invite him? Just like over here well, in a book. Definitely you send an invite, but you and I cannot determine if they've sent multiple invites or not. We cannot say on that. The assumption is that they should have followed the procedure. And the assumption is that they probably did. So ordinarily, you're right. They ought to have sent an invite. And if the invite is not um, respected, then they will swing into action. But we can both say if they actually did or not until we hear from them. So I think, sir, just to add to what you previously said, you mis misconstrue my multitasking for responding brother, to- please if, leave if I, so I can bring if, another lawyer. If, if okay. I do brother, not know yeah, thank you. Say, Sorry, Sarah, I, I want to bring it. another lawyer. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Uh -huh. So I'm bringing Belinda, Belinda Uju, another learned fellow. Oh, I get the many. So, like I was saying, that guy was just talking to us. On an average, on an average, I know you are eh? above that, but on an average, you are you, you should be a magistrate on an average. That's what I was yes. saying. At, at the minimum, at the minimum, yes. not my lord. You should be a, a magistrate. Now, really somebody they talk, say, <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have a learned uh fellow here, uh, another brilliant lawyer. Uh, Miss Belinda Uju. She's also a Free Nation member and she reads Bible for me regularly. So I consider her very, very smart. Sarah to read Bible for me. To imagine I get PhD lawyer people they read Bible. Hey, I'm blessed. By the way, Belinda, thank you so much for yesterday. I appreciate your gift. As soon as I know they pay tight and I send me gift, I still appreciate her. So what are your thoughts on the matter on ground? Okay, so dear, quick one. I have to go back to what I was doing, but I just wanted to correct the gentleman and a lot of other comments I could see in the comment section saying, why is the lawyer reading? And I'm going to be quoting from one of our learned justices popular in the legal field or in law, Lord Denning as he then was. And I'm quoting verbatim in his exact words. God forbid that a lawyer knows, all, knows the laws, all the law, exactly. but a good lawyer is one knows who knows where to, find, to the law. find the law. So no lawyer is going to know it all. What matters is how the lawyer interprets you know where she to knows. Find it. This is Perfect. what I just wanted to quote real quick, and that she's not wrong. How she's interpreting it is based on her knowledge and experience as a lawyer. I have to get back to what I was doing, but I'm definitely in the comments. Thank you, Belinda. Thank you for drawing our attention to that. So you see it lawyer came and said what the other lawyer says is valid then aziz will drop out from ilekeu aziz tio pari asari na koto drop out no ilekeu one give one new opinion why should they read book why law and medicine read? there is okay. there is no doctor that doesn't read book every day because science every day, law Let me tell you, as a pilot, change every day. As a pilot, you have to renew your license twice a year. 
You have to exactly. go and do that test again. Twice I think again. now I now I can now re I can now understand where he was coming from. Probably when I was reading the aspect of what defamation amounts to, quoting it categorically, that is where he feels if you're not knowledgeable in the law, you won't even know where to find these things. And when it comes to law, we have specialty. Even in, even in Western world, most people specialize, specializes in a particular practice area. In Nigeria, we are doing almost everything and we are expected to have oh, yeah. knowledge of everything. Let's bring Mr. Thing. Aziz. Mr. Aziz, where they call <laughs> so... Miss, Wait, sorry, my sister. Sorry, don't be angry. Let me bring Mr. Aziz. Mr. Aziz. Mm. Mr. Aziz, oh yeah, marble, 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 marble. He said he's a learned fellow. He's a lawyer too. Mr. Aziz, please send me requests. Mr. Aziz, send me requests. Even inside court, self, lawyer, the open book, judge, the open book, judge, the open book. Ah, they go read. Even they go read for ah. I go read down. You have to, you, if you want to cite certain things clearly, Aziz, to transmit please don't be certain angry. Come live. We want to hear from you, Aziz. We love you, okay? I was just joking with you. Don't, don't mind me. Please come. I want, we want to hear to you. are a learned person, Aziz. Please come. Somebody say if Aziz joins, he will give me 100k. Aziz, don't throw a lot of the join. Uh, 100k. <laughs> Don't believe me left, right, and center. He Aziz is shanu me. Why oh they join? Jo, jo, why join? Aziz, please. Uh, we are waiting for Aziz to join. Okay, go ahead. So what I'm trying to say is if you don't if you don't know where to find the law, if you're not grounded in this area, you won't even know where to refer to. So there are aspects, and I see a lot of ignorant statements. That's why I'm laughing, like, oh. People are, it's one thing to be ignorant, it's another thing to publicize your ignorance. Oh. And, mm. you know, it's, it's really sad. <laughs> if I'm not sound in a particular area, maybe they are talking about aviation, like, mm. like you know, mm. and all that. I wouldn't express, I wouldn't come out to start saying things because I know that's not my field. But when it comes to law, you are called up for any issue. I have my areas of specialization. And even if it doesn't align with my area of specialization, I know where to, where to go to, to refer to the law and interpret it as it relates to a particular issue. So you don't expect that um, a lawyer or a judge will not make reference to their books or to the laws. You don't have all the laws in your head, but you know where to get it once the, mm. time, the time arises. <laughs> that Mm. Please, I, I, I'm seeing a comment. Please quote me wrong, sir. Did I in any way said, did I in any way said what uh, Akbi did was right or wrong? I only said the way it was picked up. And Akbi that we know, if the, he was invited, he will come online and say, they don't invite me. Well, you can't mm. say absolutely. Now, it's still now, a presumption. Now, now, let me also tell you something. Uh, lawyer has charged me wrong. There is the law, and there is the limits, the absolute limits of the law, and then there is mischief. I can send you an invitation quietly in such a way that I'll show you, I'm sure you don't get it. Yes, <clears throat> that one day. Send you another one quietly. <laughs> And once the time lapse expires at the very dot, I am at your house with a warrant. <laughs> so, so you see, eh? It happened. Can, can play the system to the advantage mm -hmm. because that... you cannot carry somebody without a warrant, and you cannot carry the person without invitation. Mm -hmm. So they could not invite them, but they could not invite them. And for you to too, like say, it's and not for you to get the warrant, we just want for to come. For you to. Do you understand? Even get but they could time you. The moment you miss like you, they don't carry you and they will do it legally. It's not a right. It doesn't make it right, but it is, it is legal. Not everything that is a right Make I confess legal. one thing. I get ten and twelve for two years. You know, Greek come up for house. I just they give court letter. You know, Rishi handle. Oh, they do them like that. T he read for them. 
he knew he was forced to move out. That one day, Sha. But what me I'm trying to say, some people were just saying, hey, Chris, they decide, you know, they decide. My own is, in as much as they invited him or they did not invite him, the way he was being picked up, no access to any legal representation shows, they just silent him out from the outside. That means something is fishy. That's what I'm saying. That's mm. just what I'm well. saying. They, they now moved him from Lagos to Abuja. I don't know, but me no say before they move somebody from one city to another, there has to, to be some paperwork. Mm. And you can't say the paperwork has been done, can you? In Nigeria, anything can be done. That's the truth. So it must have been arranged on that underground. That's which I won't even be surprised about it. Allegedly. <laughs> Daddy Freeze, yes, Hello. sir. Daddy Freeze, do you remember one case about Arik Air 2014? Hmm. No, With what? One, so, you remember one case, one Ebola prank? Yeah, that, that's me. I don't want to go into this. I said, I'll go call you, go talk. All this prank, what some people they do, we, they, we don't do blogging 2011 10. I, I, most of my colleagues were avoiding me because I was a blogger. I want to kill my blog with that. I can't stop because they believe I was getting information about them posting on my blog then. That was when blogspot.com was blog. Oh, not be when. That's why I said before IG. Hmm. Slap me 50 million naira. We'll leave that matter. <laughs> we'll leave that. So, so I know all these things, how it is. I know how it works. Hmm. So basically, everything is within the public domain now. I'm sure Spidalinton lawyer would be, would have had had access to him and they would be working on the, only the next of line of is why pick him up that way without nobody knowing his whereabouts now it's the first people be that nobody waiting after we talk mm -hmm. it boils down to why isolate him from the public let's put it that way let me use that proper word why isolate him from others and the question is uh, most people are talking on the assumption that if he was picked up the proper way, Speed Darlington would probably have put it online while he was being picked up. But you never know the circumstances surrounding when he was picked up, whether he was with his phone or not, and all mm. that. All right, we have Odera here. I'm sorry for the interruption. We have Odera here. Odera. Please go ahead. Let us hear you. Okay. Um, <laughs> thank you, Daddy Freeze. Uh, on YouTube sent me 20 pounds. Thank you, Gigi, for your gift. Thank you very much. I appreciate you, Gigi. All right, guys. So over to you, Odera. Let's hear from you. Okay, um, thank you, Daddy Freeze. Uh, thank you for everyone who has been speaking. I came in the middle of the uh, conversation, so I thought probably you're Abana Boy's lawyer. Um, but um, the, the, the thing is, we Nigerians, we know that um, sometimes it looks like the law doesn't work in Nigeria. It only works for the poor. You know, it only works when, you know, the poor man is involved. But in this particular case, um, it, is what, it was difficult for me to choose a side because, you know, we all love Abana Boy. And I've actually tried to express my uh, this, you know, dissatisfaction with the way we make people that shouldn't be popular ordinarily to be popular in Nigeria. And I'm saying this, you know, to, to get somewhere. Because one of the things a man that is straight will hate is if he starts insinuating that he's swinging the other way. So for him to clear his name, you know, he had to do what he had to do. But this is where I come in. I'm not coming to argue of course i don't know anything but what i'm trying to say is that i saw the plea from the mom the mom literally was on her knees that got me mm. and she repeated that that's my only son or that's you know he was she was pleading so please i mean i think there is this word that has been used many times in the court temper justice with mercy you know what options does he have I would have loved it if the law, I mean, the way we are saying it is all sound fantastic as if Nigeria is a place that law works and everything. You know, like, it was as if it was a kidnap. And what Bonaboy was making reference to was not like police came and invited him and took him. He was making reference to some groups, like, that went for him. So, again, 
I don't know how that works. Would, would, would the group take him and give it to the police, or was it the police that did, you know, the, the, the arrest, and I think in, in the court, actually, arrest do or should matter. You know, maybe I should ask that one as a question. Does the way the arrest was carried matter in, in the weight of the cause or, you know, of the, of the court case? If they arrested him following the proper process, they have the warrant to arrest him. That's all that suffices. If in the course, maybe other intervening factor, I don't know what you mean, but maybe if he was um, beaten or if anything happens to him along the line, that's a different issue. Or if he was tortured, that's a different issue. But respect to arrest, they, all they need is just the warrant to undertake the arrest. And we all do not know whether there was a warrant or not, but we presume so. So that, that's why now, good thing his lawyer has access to him, so they could come up with what they have observed or what Spidalington would say happened in the process. And it's afterwards, they will now know whether there is a need for him to um, commence a fundamental rights enforcement case against the police or if anything but for now we are we are still just speculating yeah. because we've just heard from one side or we are viewing things from mainly speedalitin side we've not really we don't really know all what the police the law, have done. The law, let me come in there sorry in nigeria if you if they say okay where is the uh, warrant it can be organized in less than two hours it, it's not like in canada or in the u.s where you can go and arrange one order from nowhere where a forensic might be involved they want to check to know the actual time when that warrant was signed no. they can investigate the, and do that when a you know, warrant is issued there is a date to it and what i'm saying There's is now date. this thing is coming up now nigeria they can go and arrange it as we speak now and backdate it that's what i'm saying we are still assuming. We know uh -huh. that the system uh -huh. is corrupt, uh -huh. but we are still assuming. We are still assuming what we are not sure of. If, and I don't think if, it, if, it's if he comes up and say that, if if he, if he comes up and say that he was not shown at the point of arrest, and and again, I'm still having that discussion in my head that he wasn't picked up by the police. I'm having that doubt really? that he wasn't picked up by the police because the reference that was made was made not to the police. So what I'm trying to understand is if it was another group, I know that there are some security groups that governors can set up in a state that can catch criminals and hand them over to police. So in that particular instance, if another group picked up Abe, for example, and hand, them over the, uh, hand him over to the police, does that count? Two, if that counts, did they have to show at that particular point that this is your warrant or can somebody be shown warrant or be told that there is a warrant existing somewhere because there was a case of a, in river state uh, university where somebody wanted to be arrested and people revolted and the police sorry efcc was asked to leave that man and go and get a warrant first so are you supposed to show warrants before arresting or can you put somebody in custody and then manufacture a warrant you cannot put somebody in custody and manufacture a warrant that's not possible if you want to arrest somebody, you apply for the warrant at prior to the arrest and make an issue and make the arrest. At the point of arrest, you can show the person the warrant at any point, either the point of arrest or when you get to the police station. But every police officer that is going to embark on an arrest, at least if I don't know much, I worked with the police too. So I know certain things. Previously, I had done preliminary work with the police i did my youth service with the police so and then i was a baby lawyer so i know that before anybody decides to embark on an arrest they definitely would get a warrant and, and it's not much it's not so much of a difficult thing to get so, and so you, if, if if his lawyer asked him and they said there wasn't a warrant is that enough ground to cancel the whole proceeding so they, they, will, they will just correct what has been wrong, done wrong. And how do they correct it? By releasing him? Yeah. Not just by, by releasing him. It's, it depends on the circumstance or the issues that are being Can raised. Can Speed so, Darlington? Can he sue the, the police? That are being raised. Of course. Yes. yes. Fundamental rights enforcement. It's his right to 
if any of his rights has been infringed, he can through his lawyer. That That's why no money is good to you have know, access you know, to know, lawyer. You know, Nigeria is a place where you have federal courts produce a judgment, state court produce a judgment that is contradictory. That is contradictory. So <laughs> this whole thing is so confusing. Like, because I don't know. And I again, think... and again, um, what, what is what is the place of the plea that the mother did publicly? Because that's a public, because so, most times people will ask for, you know, public apology yeah. or public, yeah. you I, know. I, I don't know. Guys, now, let me <laughs> no, but the mama is a part of the family, is so doing it on behalf of the son. Is from my understanding of the law. For instance, if, if Chris defames me, you cannot apologize on his behalf. And you can also not sue on my behalf. So when it comes to defamation, only I can sue. If I'm not alive, my children can sue on my behalf. From my understanding of the law, but I need clarity of this because I'm not a lawyer. So Sarah, how true is that? Sorry, Dr. Sarah, let me, let me refer to you as you're a titled woman. Let me refer to you properly. So I hear defamation is personal, meaning my friend cannot sue on my behalf. As Chris, ah, they talk this thing about daddy fees. I don't like him. I go sue on his behalf. It's not possible. Neither can Chris apologize on my behalf if I'm the one defaming. What are you? But this is a family member. He's still alive. He's, he's still alive. And uh, he's, he he's no not a minor. Alive, He's not if a minor. Were, uh, if, if, uh, if you were, but let's let's hear from the lawyer. You are muted. You are muted, Sarah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If I want to go into that video you are referring to, the mother was appealing that she doesn't know his whereabouts. That was the issue she was talking. No, about. she met and I, Bonner boy and she asked for forgiveness. She pleaded yeah, she, directly. She, yes, plead. She pleaded, but the. The pleading does not change the damn quantum of damage that has been done to his reputation. Uh. Let us look at things from both ways. It's as easy as, sorry to say, maybe person can buy your brother and you, you report to police, make police prosecute the person and the person's <laughs> sister or mama can't come out, can't say sorry. Mm. Does that bring your bro brother back? Mm. Mm. Yeah, so if you, want to, if you want to follow that pattern, then there will be no cause for justice. And even if I want to stretch it, mm. the justice is not just for the victim. It's not just for Bonaparte, it's for the society. We are trying to create a sane society. We are trying, this will be a lesson for other people to know that we don't accept this. Because if you accept it now, uh -uh, everybody will go there defame now. When you defame, you don't prepare your mama or your papa that we go come beg in case. No, no, do you know why I'm bringing that mom's plea into the case? Because I, I know that most of the time, even mm -hmm. including the Falano's case with BDM, they always ask for public apology anyway. You know, From that's the person who made the, the video. Who made the video. Yes, who is not yeah. available? Who is not available, right? Mm. He's not available. So the and mom I, is stepping in. Another to thing with defamation, another thing with defamation. I cannot defame you on Twitter and go and apologize on Instagram. The person has to go <clears> to <throat> that same place. And, of course. And go and so apart from you can't use it and it does not even exonerate the apology is to the extent of a civil matter when it comes to a criminal matter it's you against the state i think we should get this clear. yes if a matter has been classified as criminal it's, it's you outside the auspice of the victim the victim does not have any power in criminal matters the only power you have is that you are the prime you are the main witness in the okay, but but in criminal case, a, a victim also. Well, sorry, in this case, who is the victim? I'm confused now. <laughs> no, this is a oh, boy. Oh, the victim is Bonner boy. Yes, so you know, boy say, I want to release him. He won't be released. You no, know, can I ask a question? He sorry, cannot sorry. Accept... please let me understand this part. Yes. Who is the victim? So if if Bonner boy now say, okay, I've watched this video. I'm so I, I know I, I'm, I felt touched by the mom's plea. Let's Lelisa. Would, would the court say no? It's above you now. The prosecution is in the hands of the prosecution. It's within the state. 
is this, the state can still proceed with trying the person. Uh, it's can I ask outside. A it is not. Sorry, you sorry. One last, last question. One follow-up question. Is that it a is Nigerian state. law process or General, is that a universal law process? You um, there's a criminal justice system. Mm -hmm. Criminal justice system involves the investigating team, the police, the prosecution, and the courts. So within the criminal justice system, that is where criminal cases are tried. And cases are tried against the law. Who makes the law? The law is made by the government, by the states, for the society. And the society constitutes of individuals and people. So if the state finds out that there's a prima facie case against you, and when you breach the law, you are offending who? You're offending the state because it's the state that made the law and made the punishment for the law. So it is the state you have offended. What the victim normally do to help the state, they bring it to the notice of the state. It's a two-way thing. You either bring it to the notice of the state through a petition or the state gets to know on their own. Okay, this is the last question I will take before I go, please. Eh? I don't know why this... This one is becoming too difficult. You know, sometimes you look at some things and you look at, okay, just it's a not plea. It's becoming then... too difficult. No, no, no. It's just that. You... Hold on, hold on. No, okay. what, what I'm, because um, I still think that what is expected to resolve this will be a plea, an apology, a public one, if it, right? If it's a civil matter. If it's a civil matter. I don't even know how, how, I don't know why you extended to criminal, but I don't want to drag you back. But then I want to say something. There's a lot of people, oh, God. I, I start mentioning celebrities who have, um, you know, charge people to court for what they said. We don't see the end of it. We don't even know the end of it. We don't and even know that you don't to follow arrest. up, cases are ongoing. This one now, it might just die at the introductory part. Doesn't mean that the matter is not ongoing. Cases are ongoing, but people just... No, but we will see those people years coming years up to now, do so more and more. This. Sorry? You just hear 10 years from now, say somebody win case, you go think say they don't forget the case. Hey. Exactly. Most times we don't really, we just follow the initial Listen, trend of the case. Listen to what you see Nigerians. Matter takes a long, cases take a long time. It could take two to three years or four years. But most times you and I know that after now, everybody gets busy with their own personal lives. So it doesn't mean that the case has died. It's still on, cases are ongoing. But to what extent have you, have you personally gone to court to say, okay, this matter was instigated in this um, court and I want to follow up on the current status of the matter. If you follow up, you will get it. Sorry, can I ask a question? Okay, know. thank you can so I... much. Thank you that the freeze have to go. Okay, right, can I ask thank a you, question? Thank bro. you for coming. Go ahead, Chris. Chris this Bassi, go ahead with your question. Case, this case now, let me say I'm 90% right. This is not him versus the state. Mm. This is this is, so is, this a, is yeah. that a civil crime or a criminal crime? Now we have not even seen the charge yet. No, based, but, based on what we have seen on you know, like we know it's obviously defamation. So is this a criminal crime or a civil crime? It can be both. It can be civil. It can be criminal. Criminal so is possible. Most it's, times, when you're against the state, of course. I believe. And it's what makes you against the state when you do something against the law that comes with a punishment. And that was why I started by citing the law. Have you done anything against the law? So there is a law that could make it a criminal case. Same with civil as well. If, it's, if, you, if he wants, if Bonaboy wants to go the civil route, it's totally his case. It's totally his own matter for him to handle the way he wants to handle it. But for the criminal aspect, the part where Bonaboy has his strength is that he's the, he's the victim. So he, he's the core witness in the matter. Mm. So it can go both ways. Daddy Free, sorry, I'm not trying to go back because I saw a lot of comments. People are saying, why they don't arrest 50 Cent, blah, blah, blah. People just come talk. They don't know the history between 50 Cent and PDD. What in the vest and a woman in baby mama when Billy said the guy they exploit. So some people will just come. Some people don't even talk about DD case. They don't even know the main case. What in the offense where did he commit? Now people are saying 50 cent, all the thing when don't talk, why no go prison? They don't even know. Even when 50 cent did an interview, he said he has spent over 25 million 
for civil uh, uh, he, an, he, he don't follow suit he don't spend over 25 million then i lawyers they cash out self uh. so my baby mama they had issues of you know child custody when the video came out that uh, the guy the pdd day with the girl blah 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 it began you know shade the girl so people don't even know where the issue of pdd and 50 cent they come out from a lot of people will just come and lie and say what they don't know okay and maybe you invite somebody make it come online now you know agree you know agree come online when they day for keyboard they type say you know everything you beg and beg you know agree come online mm -hmm. you know come on life oh okay 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 i thought it's at home okay darling. thank you so me i believe this is a civil case if it's in north america here yeah, it's a civil case you know nigeria they'll go add 15 count charges they go add with you no know, follow like i said it could go either way it could be civil it could be criminal it could be both mm. depends on what now the now there's something else that i want to say push. there's something else that i want to say eh? and i need you to clarify this and i'm gonna say it again because i've used style to say it somebody said but david do release dummy what are you saying madam lawyer austin the time you were supposed to use to get sense you spent it on social media let me tell you how you spent your time you spent it doing soapy you spent it watching big brother niger and going to church you know if you get sense to you buy so because david do decide to release them so automatically all cases now now david do damn me favorite uh, format yes it would be a good thing i would really hope that burn releases aqui yes all right but i do not want us to be that. confused at any stage that what aqui did was right mm. so go ahead i think i might need some warming too Sorry to say, sorry to say, Daddy Freeze. Sorry, I'm not trying to divert any. You see, you see a lot of people now who no get mind. Now in the have to use pidgin English in this. Now who no get mind, they read meaning to a lot of things. You see a lot of people coming online to bash some people. Mm. One, they never chop since morning. Two, some of them then yeah. they don't then they prison somewhere. Then they mm. lay their frustration on like, on you like saying, "Are you put them for where they did?" Mm. And you will come to follow person where they praise in the argue. Or you follow somebody whenever you don't know what you want chop in the next three hours. You follow and they argue. You know, some people are generally, let's let's be honest about this, generally frustrated. They just want to throw the anger on whoever they see, the next available person that they can just set eye on. Hmm. So online is that the free to the trial? You, 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 the, the way the, the ah no 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 some people don't go fit stand down, but the bashing you go come on like people but you they give them hot okay. hot so. aura for aura <laughs> vibes on vibes you come my way you collect no mercy so ah, no, 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 anybody no. else have a question for our lawyer before you start coming and typing with your leprosy fingers the things that you don't understand now we have somebody that can explain it to you can you please come and ask your questions now or forever hold your silence somebody say bring opposite lawyer please where you suppose go school go study law you know go nobody you supposed to be the opposite lawyer <laughs> who you know go you say maybe we'll go bring opposite mm -hmm. lawyer we brought another lawyer what did the other lawyer came come to do the other lawyer somebody said first we get you phd see, law, no law, no no it is straightforward to an extent matters of law are pretty straightforward they are not matters of emotion you see in emotion you are all correct with your emotions 
Mm. When it comes to emotion, you are correct. All right, we've got <laughs> Dr. Oyi here. Dr. Oyi, how are you doing? I'm doing great. I, I didn't know you. I requested a while ago. I'm sorry. Okay, are you a lawyer? No, I'm not a lawyer. Okay. I just had a question for All the All right, lawyer. go ahead. Go ahead. I, I want to start by apologizing for the initial guide I said you were reading. And um, as a doctor of pharmacy, I mean, I, I think even if you're an expert in a topic, for someone to even be reading is assuring to me because it shows that you've done your due diligence and um, you're just crossing your teeth and duck. But um, I apologize for that because, you. <laughs> you know, kudos to you, girl. It, you. It, it takes a lot of dedication and time to be a doctor of anything and nobody should discredit anybody's effort or credibility because that was really ignorant but my question is um the gentleman i really like him he's very passionate i'm sorry what's your name chris chris so I, i've been listening in and out because i'm working but my question is um with speed Dallington being a allegedly u.s um, citizen, how mm. does, does this change things? You know, does it? I know it's a very broad question, but how does it change things in terms of his rights? Does that apply in Nigeria's um, jurisdiction? How does it just change things, the outcome or how he's being prosecuted? Yeah, thank you, thank you, doctor. It's a, it's a very good question because uh, we're talking about his dual citizenship here. And uh, I don't think that has any impact on the matter at hand. Why? Because number one, Spin Darlington is also in Nigeria. Correct. That's one. Yeah. Two, the crime was unveiled or the supposed crime was unveiled in Nigeria. It took place within the jurisdiction of Nigeria. Uh, okay. So the country has the jurisdiction to handle the matter. So with these two boxes ticked, yes. and the law that was uh, breached or allegedly, allegedly breached was a Nigerian law, which I quoted, and Correct. you could also find the punishment for the law within Nigeria as well. So his other um, citizenship status really Correct. has nothing to do with this. Got it. Because there is no... There's no where they interrelate or there's no conflict anywhere. Got it. Mm. So he can't even, re he can't request for like a public defender. I'm just curious from the U.S. consulate, he's not entitled to that? He is entitled to a defense lawyer even within Nigeria. Got even it. Even if he cannot afford one, there's a legal aid in Nigeria as well. So I don't see any reason why he might need a lawyer from the U.S. because the lawyer might not even be knowledgeable in um, the Nigerian criminal justice now, what system. I so that would even make... a, a lawyer that is in Nigeria, but probably that works for the U.S. embassy, uh, not a lawyer that lives here. You know, ah, uh, if he wants to, okay. As far as the lawyer is licensed to practice law in Nigeria, Nigeria and yeah, that... knows what he's doing, yes. That's fine. You can. He's still a lawyer. Yes. <laughs> but uh, I don't think he has challenge. That's, I think you're coming from the purview of pro probably he has a challenge with getting a lawyer and he wants to go to the consulate for help Correct. with respect to getting him a lawyer. Uh -huh. He can do that, but I know that there are options for him even within Nigeria. Got it. I'm just looking through a lot of comments talking about kidnap. I, I mean, I'm not a lawyer, but um, <laughs> just, you know, what do you have to say about that? It can uh, I, I, that yeah, can be considered they're, they're, as kidnap. But. Yeah, you're right. There are a lot of um, comments on that, but I just feel there are question from, there are comments from people that just reason on the shadow Correct. level because just being you can't just conclude it. on kidnap Correct. as it is. Um, we, we really, obviously, we don't know the details of how he was picked up. Yeah. Uh, people assumed different things. Correct. Uh, it's just that, oh, it wasn't made to the public. It wasn't made known to the public. That's why we are all saying, oh, he probably was kidnapped or something. But I wouldn't jump into that 
um, assumption. Correct. Because now everybody knows where he is. He's within police custody and he already has access to his lawyer. So I believe more information we unfold that will create clarity in that. Okay. So Can I ask a question, please? Yes, Can please? I ask a question? Yes. Legally, I don't know. I know, yeah, I know how it works, but I don't know Nigeria because things they change. <laughs> Legally, when, when you have been taken to a station in Nigeria, you can choose mm. not to write a statement and need the presence of a lawyer. Is it done no, in sir, Nigeria sir. as well? Of course, you have the so, right to that. Obviously, if he had been given the consent of a lawyer, people won't be looking for him because for, from there, the lawyer will have access or a contact number of his family or friend and say, see, this is where he is. He was arrested. So obviously, he had probably made a statement without the presence of a lawyer. Uh, uh, if he had, the statement can be redrawn. He has you the can't right to the statement. detain somebody without a statement. That I know. If he, he has, I am always. Uh, you you're making your own statement, but I'm always very cautious with the statements I make because what I have not seen, I cannot categorically say it happened. But sure. I can assume. There's an assumption. You are assuming that that was what happened. He probably had given an initial statement, or who knows, he probably was given a lawyer from the legal aid to stand on his behalf while he was giving the statement. Now, um, whatever would have happened there, now that he has access to a lawyer he, he's comfortable with, or his own lawyer, more information we offer as out. to the legality of everything that transpired right. following his arrest and, you know, subsequently. Because I think what made it viral and all we know for now is the mom's plea you know of course she yeah, did the, what the mom the... needs to be to do you know it was an emotional plea so i think everybody is just going off off of that but you're right you know mm. and being how big bona boy is and a mm -hmm. superstar i would think he will have the best legal team and um i wouldn't expect him to be you know making silly mistakes or dropping balls but hey you know mm. when somebody questions your integrity especially in nigeria with mm -hmm. something that big you know a gay gay like daddy freeze calls mm. it something mm. of that magnitude mm. you know i can understand that maybe emotion it's possible that the emotional part of it took away his judgment but again just with his stardom ship i would think he has the best team that yeah. should cross their teeth and dots before making certain moves, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we we'll, we'll believe so because somebody that has uh, groomed his career to that point Correct. would not want to take any form of, um, you know, injury to his image for granted. Yes. <laughs> you know, so... Somebody is saying if they've concluded, if Bonaboy did it, that is just the same thing I said earlier on. So people might just come online and start throwing opinion without, they say accusation without confirmation is meaningless. So sure. for a lawyer who came online this morning, this idea did you that said it can be confirmed that Happy was arrested because of this. Somebody still comes online and said, has it been confirmed? I don't understand. Uh -huh. So you he see, there's a lot of speculation. Sure. Yeah. Has yeah. it been confirmed? We are not sure. Is we are not certain. That's what I'm saying. Right? There, yeah. there are a lot of things that just. But that difference. Did you read the comment from this uh, VDM lawyer that he posted? If he posted it, he said, "I can." Yes, he said, "I was with Afri for 30 minutes. He is in Abuja. Yes, I can confirm that he was arrested by this person." Uh. Mm. Check, so it's within check police. his Twitter so, now. He wrote it. So it's within police custody at the moment. Yes. Uh -huh. He confirmed it. He said he was with Apple for 30 minutes. He had conversation and he can confirm that he's in Abuja. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think I saw something. Like he said he spoke online. with him. Also, he was with him. So, I spoke with him. So the, my my the of... I was with him. I spoke with him. Mm. My CB, I was with him. Hmm. So Akwe, hmm. where we know, is a very stubborn person. Know how where you go arrest Akwe, where Akwe no go say, give me lawyer, make a right statement. <laughs> Akwe, where we know, it's not an assumption. He, hmm. he is a comedian. Akwe, where we know, when we be saying, 
in a military career and a police, act me where we know, you go ask for lawyer. Thank you so much. So there is, I don't know. If you feel, like I said, people anger is not about what has been said. You see, sometimes eh, you were the guilty. Sometimes get the way matter go twist, you will not be the victim. You will not become the victim, yeah. That's true, though. There's a way in the case with twist, you will not become the victim. And with the power of the media, too, you know. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So, that is it. You can bring a solid one. Okay, so, what people are waiting for now is the count charge. That's just it. Uh -huh. yes. Maybe we know what will happen. Sure. Oh no, we think they happen. Sorry, they don't bring my food. Ah. <laughs> that is I'm going off now. Yeah. I'll prepare to go work. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. So, guys, we we'll continue the conversation as updates arrive at us. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Thank you, everyone. God bless you. Thank you.